What's up everyone and welcome to my review of the newest hero Minotaur. I know you guys have seen this already but hey here we go. This is the only way to get them having purchased 150k gems and uh, you also got 80k honor badges. Alright guys let's move over to the wiki and see what this hero looks like on paper. It describes him as a tank class hero that has melee attacks. His skill body slam damages, stuns, and reduces the energy of multiple units on the ground no effect on flying units and what that means is his ability cannot hit um, troops like griffins dragons or ornies and it cannot hit heroes like spirit mage and cupid because they're flying it will not hit them and they have to be on the ground uh, let's take a look at one of nine he hits uh, ten random ground units dealing fifty percent damage inflicting stun for one second and reducing energy by ten percent that is huge that does three key things it's damage stun and reducing energy and th this hero is gonna be top dog in arena and I'll get more into that in a little bit and I'll tell you why I don't care what anyone says you just have to think about it and I'm sure some of the top players who have been leveling this guy up and have him at seven nine eight of nine already are gonna be able to tell you how sick this hero really is alright now when you're leveling him up once you get him to three of nine his stun goes off oh, up to 1.5 seconds. Um, he hits 18 units. If you go up to 5 of 9, he's going to hit 28 units. 28 at 5 of 9. That is crazy. Deal 130% damage, and his stun goes up to 2 seconds, which is that's a lot better than uh, what it was before. And as you keep leveling it up, at 7 of 9, it's going to go up to 2.5 seconds, and 9 of 9 is going to be 3 seconds. And at 9 of 9, he hits 50 targets, guys. 50. That is just, it's going to stun a whole base and kill all the troops, pretty much. So, I don't, I, this hero is just uh, really, it's a superhero. I mean, <laughs> it's a tank class, it's balanced, it's just, it's insane. I'm very happy with it. Um, good, luckily, I already had the money spent, so we're good on that. Now let's look at his stats a little bit. At level 1, he's going to have 2,450 hit points, 170 movement speed. As you're leveling him up a little bit, when he gets to 80, he's going to have 20k hit points and 190 movement speed. And then once you get him up to about 120, which I think is the uh, like easiest but highest level to get a hero up to, and the cheapest, it's going to be 30k hit points with a 200 movement speed. So that's pretty cool. His stats are up there. The fact that he's a tank class, he's grouped up with Paladin and Atlanticor, and his skill compared to, or his uh, ability compared to them just blows it out of the water. Alright, let's move on to a raid, and just to show you pretty much like what the stun does. I'm going to drop the Minotaur over here on this town hall and let him beat on it for a minute just so you guys can see like what he stuns pretty much everything on the base and I accidentally do dropped Druid in this one trying to move my screen. Alright see look at that everything is stunned and the damage isn't that great right now. I mean, he's level like 70 in this video, 80, something like Oh, he's level 80. And uh, 3 of 9 skill, almost 4 of 9. So there's no buff from Cupid or anything like that. Now I'm in pretty bad position because now I'm going to have to save this raid so I don't lose all my heroes. And there he goes with the proc again. Just the sheer number of things that he hits is ridiculous and all right we're gonna have to drop some spells here let's see if druid and thunder god can just take the middle real quick and we should be good all right so this is my theory also since the minotaur is going to be stunning hitting and possibly killing troops in all ground units when you're in a raid that that's gonna make thunder god and spirit mage be able to hit flyers with a higher percentage. So if you have Minotaur taking out the ground units, then you have Thunder God and Spirit Mage to hit the flyers, pretty much. Or, you know, if they hit ground units too, that's still fine, but it's going to be a higher percent 
for them to hit other things besides ground units. Because if you use Spirit Mage, you know that if there's a troop uh, army camp full of guardians, <laughs> that they're going to suck up some of those procs. Alright, so let's jump into Arena here, and I just want to show you guys what his skill does in the arena that's very useful, and maybe not too many people realize. Alright, we're going up against the 5 5 Atlanticor. And we got the other stunned in the middle lane. Cupid procs, and then we're going to stun him again. If I had Spirit Mage, those all those heroes would be dead right now. They would just be wiped out because my Spirit Mage would have procced. Now keep your eyes on the enemy heroes. Bam, they're stunned. Now what does that do? Yes, it inflicts damage, but it keeps them from hitting your crystal for however long the stun is. And in my case, it's 1.5 seconds. So while they're stunned... On the other side, you're still beating away on their crystal, and that's going to be a pretty big advantage. Like Thunder God, his stun doesn't hit over there. It won't hit behind him like that. Um, Spirit Mages does, but it doesn't stun him. It just hits for damage, and unless you have a really good Spirit Mage, it's not going to be too helpful. All right, we're going to go up against uh, a couple of level 140s, 130s. Look at that. That Thunder God double proc is... Pff, I love that in the arena. Now, his damage isn't going to be doing too much to the end, to their crystal, you know what I mean? So, I think the main advantage to running Minotaur in the arena... If, if you're in an open lane, then he's going to stun the heroes that are hitting your crystal on the other side of the map, making it so that they can't hit, your, hit yours. Alright, we're just going to move on to the 40 shard drop dungeon. And you're going to get to see him stunning in here. I know you guys have probably seen videos on Minotaur already. I'm a little late with this, but I just couldn't find the time that night to make this video as well. And, you know, I didn't want to show my Minotaur at level 1 and then put out... You know, I just wanted to take my time a little bit. I figured every other YouTuber would be covering this. So, I mean, you guys are probably sick of seeing it already, but hey, I had to cover it somehow, so here it is. Um, yeah, we're just going to run through this dungeon, no problem. And in dungeons and in raids, another factor that's a big advantage is he's going to stun their defenses. Meaning if they have tons of towers with high garrison or anything like that, they're not going to be shooting arrows at you while they're stunned. So, alright guys, that's pretty much going to sum it up for this video. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. Like I said, I know I'm a little late with it, and you guys are probably, you know, seen 50 videos already on it. But, it's whatever. I just wanted to take my time, like I said. Uh, and in case you wanted to see what he looks like on your base, we're just going to take a little look at him. To me, he, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Kung Fu Panda, but he looks just like the, the bad guys in Kung Fu Panda. And yes, I watch Kung Fu Panda because I have a two-year-old and he loves it. So that's why. <laughs> and actually, there we go. Let's make Minotaur jump some walls real quick. Just to mess around and see, what, see if he's got skills. There we go. Alright, guys. I'm just messing around. Um, yeah, like I said, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, as always. I will see you guys in the next video. If you're not subscribed, take a second to sub. I would really appreciate it. I appreciate all the support, guys. Have a great day.